This video describes replacing a PIC in a PTX3000 router. Take the PIC offline by using the Request Chassis PIC Offline CLI command or by pressing and holding the Online Offline button on the PIC faceplate until the status LED goes out. After taking proper ESD precautions, disconnect the cables from the PIC. Immediately cover each transceiver and the end of each fiber optic cable with a rubber safety cap. Do not look directly into a fiber optic transceiver or into the ends of fiber optic cables. Next, arrange the cables in the cable management system. Using a number one Phillips screwdriver, loosen the two captive screws on the cable management system cover. Lift the cover to access the cable management system. Arrange the cable in the cable management system. Simultaneously open the ejector handles outward to unseat the pick. Grasp the handles and slide the pick straight out of the card cage. Align the notches in the connector at the rear of the pick with the notches in the pick slot and then slide the pick in until it lodges firmly. Grasp both ejector handles and press them inward until the ejectors latch into the pick. Reconnect each cable to the correct port on the PIC. Again, do not look directly into a fiber optic transceiver or into the ends of fiber optic cables. Rearrange the cable in the cable management system to prevent it from dislodging or developing stress points. Close the cover over the cable management system. Using a number one Phillips screwdriver, tighten the two inner captive screws to secure the cover to the cable management system. Bring the PIC online using the Request Chassis PIC Online CLI command or pressing and holding the online offline button on the PIC faceplate. 